Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Nier Automata. In the last episode we went through another one of those resource recovery units and also got fixed by Devil and Popola after we've exerted ourselves a little bit too much. And in this episode, well, we've got one more recovery unit to go, or at least that's what I'm gonna hope. Oh jeez, I wonder what box full of fun they have in store for us this time. I actually thought of some things in between episodes that I want to talk about because there were some things that I noticed um, in editing which I didn't notice the first time around which is why it's actually one of the reasons I'm really glad I'm doing an LP of this game because it gives me a second chance to like look over things when I'm editing videos and notice things I didn't notice before. So, as soon as we get inside, I'll be sure to try and talk about it. Also, the castle's gone. Hello. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Over and over. Okay, thank god. Sorry, no, the castle isn't gone. It's like the theater place in front of the castle. That's right. God damn it, I like that theater. That language again. This reads, God Box. God, huh? What are these machines doing talking about gods? Well, that's a bit pretentious. But anyway, as I said, going through this recovery unit should hopefully give me a chance to talk about some things. Mainly... Little nuances that I've noticed, such as when the pods were talking to each other, they seem to be a little bit more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh god, it slipped out of my mind. A bit more casual, that's the word I'm looking for when speaking. It's... because They're usually so, you know, calculative, and they only speak using, you know, what needs to be said. Pod, why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal, Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Hello, and thank you for choosing the Huh? We've got some very exciting news for everyone today. was that? Large structural unit of machine life form origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. I honestly was not expecting to take control of A2 right now. Well, that's a change of pace. Oh god, wait, are we going over- hang on, let me look at my map. Are we going over to the... Park Ruins? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no, A2, you cannot go over there right now. 9S is right there- oh god, no, this is a bad idea. This is a super bad idea. Anyway, as I was saying before, yeah, pods, talking very casually, very weird. I am now suspicious of the pods. Although, I don't think they're bad, I just i am suspicious of them with something. I'm not quite sure what. Um, can I go to the park rooms? Yeah, I can. Also, I heard that with the black box message, there was actually a glitch with, or a bug of some kind, which made it display a message which you weren't supposed to know about yet. So, apparently I dodged a bullet on that one, because I heard some things... Um, floating about about that. So, I'm glad I didn't run into it. If I don't remember patch notes, uh, reading patch notes about that. 
Um, but there was oh, there was something else that I wanted to talk about as well. Yeah, Devlo and Popola. I don't know how to feel about them because what I saw last episode. I don't know. Alert. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. And now we're back to playing 9S. Oh god, A2 is right by nearby. Oh man. Oh god. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh well, well this is just freaking perfect. So we're doing combat in the dark now. Kind of pointless considering I can see your red eyes. over with. Special prize, we got a special prize, P. And who is talking? I, I I, was so sure it was Devil and Popular and I'm still kind of sure it is, but I'm not sure. It's not Pascal because Pascal is gone. Or at least maybe? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm confused. <laughs> I, I keep... I keep on saying that I want to be confused during this playthrough, and I'm still glad that I am confused, because I have no idea who it could be. Oh, that's the question I want to know the answer to the most. Alright, let's just take care of you guys. Simply put, I'm getting sick of seeing ya. Thing to these boxes, or is it just supposed to be cover? I'm just going to assume it's supposed to be cover or something. Whatever. Oh, damn it, I'm starting to sound more and more like 9S. <laughs> just with slightly less machine hating ness. Uh, how many volt? Proof self do I got? Okay, I got nine. I can afford to use one to take that shield out. Ow! Damn it! There you are. More spawn. Get rid of that before it wears off! God, I completely forgot. I got like a whole entire pod skill I haven't even tried out yet, which is Vault. Never really saw the reason to. Especially considering the one I've got, it's really good. Especially getting rid of these shields. Damn. Now, thinking on it now, I should probably reread up the lore of um, Drake and Garden here because I'm a little rusty on some things. There's still some things which I'm still a little iffy on. Like, I was actually watching someone else play Nier Automata up to the point I got to because obviously, you know, I don't want spoilers, but um, they were talking about the significance of the Lunar Tear in Drake and Guard and like how it looks, you know, very similar to. 
um, the if anyone knows Draken Guard Free, there's like a flower which is a big plot point because of what the flower is and what it does. Which I'm not going to spoil just in case, but um, it was it looked familiar. That's all I'm going to say. Looked familiar to it, and I didn't even think of that. And it might be just baseless, uh, baseless um, conjecture. I guess it's still fun to theorize and stuff like that because there's always been this bid, you know, especially with like games like Nia or the Dragon Guard series or Dark Souls or any of those types of games where you got a lot of the story which is up to interpretation. I've always I I fall into the trap a lot where it's where I hear a theory which isn't confirmed, and then I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. I want that to be true, but um, you know, it's not proven. It's just a theory. So I should probably reread what the actual quote-unquote facts are. Like, I'm still sort of half expecting to see a cord show up because she's an android. Maybe she's the villain. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, a surprise like that wouldn't um, uh, surprise me, or a reveal like that even. Also, you guys are really annoying to take out. Can I? Huh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay. You explode. Got it. Well, uh, this is taking a while. I'm not crazy. I can't get up there, can I? No, I can't. someone in comments telling me, oh, you, you should have just, you know, jumped on the side or double jumped or used an ability, like, oh, maybe if I, yeah, no, that doesn't work, whatever, it's fine, I just need to have good aim, and I haven't used the lock on in a long time, I've just never really had a, had to feel like I um, needed to use it. Which I guess is good, because that means that the automatic lock-on is effective, or at least in my case it is, so... I can't really complain too much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it, there's still another one. Although, trying to aim... That's not really better. Trying to aim with these rotating floors. It's really aggravating. There we go. Hey, someone I can actually fight at my level. Nice. Also, I just remembered I could have hacked them. That would have probably saved a lot of trouble. I am stupid. <laughs> I forgot who I was playing as for a second. I haven't had to hack thing, um, any enemies in a while, so I just straight up forgot that was a thing I could do. Ah, oh, I am so smart. I'm so good. Okay, 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 okay. Shouldn't be too many floors now. I am not looking forward to what's going to happen at the top of this place. Okay, this is a bit different. Model 210. Operator? Oh no. 
So this operator model is... Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo Type B equipment transition during previous descent. Sent to front lines as Unit 21B. Recorded as missing in action four hours later. No. I don't want to fight you. Oh god, I did requests for you. Oh god. Be sure to make this quick. Sorry. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want this to take too long. No, oh, come on. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't oh, stupid bullets. Oh, dear God. Come on, come on. Oh. Keep slashing, 9S. Keep slashing. Don't make me do this. Come on. I don't want to do this. Uh, what if I hack into her? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. There's got to be something. There's got to be something. There's got to be something I can do. There's got to be something I can do. There's got to be something I can do. I wanted it to. God damn it! To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. You. 
Don't you dare talk to me about two feet! <laughs> 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 Where'd he go? Analysis. Yoha Unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would Unit A2 be concerned with the status of Unit 9S after turning on Yoha? Shut up! <sighs> Can't believe this right now. Kids on your on your head, are you serious? God, I don't even know what to feel anymore. Pod 042, contact initiated between Pod 042 and Pod 153. What is the matter, Pod 042? This protocol is not an interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod has confidential transmission for... Pod 153. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between Pod 042 and Pod 153. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed unusually protective feelings towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query, could this be our will? I was just talking about how they were speaking more casually. They're becoming sentient. No, 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 not sentient. Sapient, that's the right word. Unknown. The definition of will is unclear. Will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty? Huh. You sounded like an android just there. Agreed. But, just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die.
The concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope that you do not die, Pod042. Yeah. Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha Unit 9S. Activate. <sighs> Good morning, 9S. Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Oh. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. Good. Well, what did he frickin' do? Can't say I'm not interested to see what's inside the tower, but... I'm not sure if the cost is worth it. Also, I thought that rubble over there was a robot for a second. I got- I'm getting super paranoid. <laughs> Everything's a robot. Everything's a machine. <laughs> God damn it. I feel I'm going crazy alongside 9S. Uh, who's even left anymore? I guess the resistance robots? Anemone's still okay. Oh, wait, no. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? No, now she's gonna... No, oh, God. <laughs> I'm paranoid about everything. Everything's an enemy. I don't even want to deal with these robots right now. Whatever, let's just open up this freaking tower. You sure? Don't want to send me on any other wild goose chases? You know, I still got one more. I, you, you, you know, there's still time if you want me to... I don't know. Go to Mars to get you a space rock sample. Wouldn't be any difficult than anything else I've done so far. Are you sure? Th th that's a perfectly good space elevator right there. I could just go to Mars and back. Cost me a freaking fortune. I might as well use it anyway. Oh, this is just great. Yep. So many black walls. God, I really hope I don't unleash anything by me doing this. This is how paranoid I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid that I'm- I don't know. I don't even know what I would unleash. Maybe a version of that virus from Nia which turns androids into salt. At least one person I hope gets uh, uh, what I'm talking about. I don't even have to bother you with you guys. I'm done. Unlock all of the That means a special prize is waiting for you. 
I bet you do. Guys, I really hate to do this to you, but we'll be going into the tower on the next episode of Let's Play Nier Automata. I have a feeling that we're getting close to the end of, of either route C or D, so I want to be prepared. If you like this episode, do all that stuff I keep on telling you to do, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Oh, my feelings. <laughs>